Hi and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Detector Series. We're going to be looking today at the Gas Surveyor 541 by GMI. Uh, so this is usually a pipeline unit. You'll see a lot of these in use. It's a bit of a unique model. Uh, one of the things is you got a few different things that show the menus here. These single icons are tap once. These two here are uh, hit it twice. And see this one? See how they're filled in? When they're filled in, it's a, a long press. Uh, this, this one's going to be a single press, and see what it says on here. It has to do with the, in the CGI mode. So uh, what we're going to be doing, because it's got some different modes here for pipeline workers, sewer workers, etc., for utilities. We're just going to look at the calibration. I'm not going to get into how to operate everything, but I just want everyone to be aware of that. The reason I've got this here is because in the user menu, they'll actually show you what these buttons do uh, because they have some secret functionality when you're in calibration mode. So without further, let's get this thing turned on. Press and hold the button, number one button. I'm going to call these out as one, two, three, and four throughout the video. Uh, and in the meantime, we're going to let this thing get started. It's going to go through its alarm limits. Uh, one interesting piece of functionality, uh, this 541, we can't get the date up above 2018. Uh, so on this particular model, they just can't take that up there, something to do with the software. Uh, but in the newer models, obviously, that's not a problem. Okay, uh, It's going to go through its alarm limits. And during startup, let's grab our other equipment. We have a demand flow regulator. So this is a regulator with no on-off knob. And what it does is when it senses a vacuum on this end, it delivers gas. There's a little space in here that fills up with gas. And as this draws off from that little space, it refills it out of your cylinder. Okay, So that's part one. Got some tubing. This tubing's a little thicker than the other tubing you'll see us use. This is a 3 16th instead of a 1 8 inch ID. So we'll use that for this one. And we got two cylinders of cow gas here for this. Uh, we have a UHP methane. This is 99.97% uh, by volume. It doesn't have to be that good. Uh, these, these aren't made that you have to use uh, highly technical grade methane for them, but we recommend getting the best you can. Uh, so this is 99.97% by volume right now, methane. You might see it as UHP methane frequently in the field. Down here we've got another cylinder. This just matches up with, with the values here. Uh, this, this is a 25 parts H2S, 100 parts CO, 50% LEL methane, and 18% oxygen with nitrogen balance. Check our expiration date, and we are good to go here. And this one, I know I don't have a sticker on this one, but this is actually a 20, uh, 2023 expiration based on the year it was made. That's the year it's made there, 2019. So just want to point that out that this one is well within expiration as well. Okay, so without further, I'm going to actually put these a little off to the side, get us a little bit of room here. There we go, good. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is take this this into the proper mode. So we're going to get into the proper mode by I'm going to double tap this button here. I don't know if you can see that, uh, it's right here, the power button, number one. So what we're going to do is we're going to double tap this, and it's going to say off on the screen. And then once it's off on the screen, we're going to go one, wait two, wait three, wait four, wait. Uh, you have to get those timings right and put in those delays, otherwise it won't take it and it'll fail and you got to start over again. So we're going to hope we can get this up first time. Tap, tap, off, one, pause, two, pause, three, pause, four, pause. Bingo, we did it. So now it's blinking Cal here. So this means we're in Cal mode. And that's when this menu we've got right here comes into play. So. Uh, first things first, what we're going to do, uh, you can see we're in LEL right now, right? So, so what we're going to do is we're going to first we're going to go through and zero each of these with room air. And then I'll come in with the gas cylinders and we'll calibrate each one. Okay? So first, first thing to do, you see if you double press, it's going to zero the current range. If we single press, it's going to move to the next one. So right now we're on LEL. You can see this is LEL Cal. So we're going to double tap to zero. Good. So now we've saved a zero there. Now we're going to switch to the next gas. Okay. Now we're seeing volume gas. So this is our pure methane line. So this is the TCD sensor on the system. Okay. So we're going to double tap to zero. 
drops it down to zero. Good deal. Press once more. Okay, now we're looking at oxygen. So it's showing 21.0, should be at 20.9. 20 I want to show you something real quick with this. This unit's very sensitive to tubing with the oxygen sensor to its pump. Watch what happens if I tap my finger on it a couple times. See that value? So just keep that in mind that when you're, if you're adjusting the tubing or something's impacting your tubing like a bend, you might see the oxygen sensor fluctuate for a second before it stabilizes. So just keep that in mind in the future. It doesn't mean anything's wrong with the unit, just how it works, one of the quirks of it. So we're going to zero this, tap, tap. There we go, down 20.8, 20.7. So now I'm not quite happy with the zero, so it's 20.7, that's not good for me, so I'm going to double tap it again. There we go, that's better, 20.8. Okay, move to the next one. All right, we're gonna do this one more time. So this oxygen sensor here, uh, the way it's, it's fading down like this, I'm not a fan. Uh, so I might take this one in for replacement once we get this video done. Uh, see if we can bring that up to 20.9, uh, where, where it should be sitting here. Okay, but that said, we're gonna go through the full calibration anyway, and I'll, I'll show you how, how it goes through that we can get this done. Right, we're going to press the button one more time, move to the next gas. This is carbon monoxide. You can see the CO blinking here. Let's see if we can brighten that up a little bit, maybe. There you go. That's a little brighter, huh? Okay, CO. So, we'll zero this. Move to our next, H2S. Titan sulfide. We're going to zero this. Now we're going to press it one more time. Brings us to our CalDo. So you see how it says February 2018? You can't get the date past that on this unit. So that's just where that one stands. Okay, now we're back to the LEL mode here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and actually apply the gas cylinders to this. We're going to do our multi-gas first, and then we're going to come back and we're going to do the methane. Okay, so with the zero complete, what we're going to do is grab our demand flow regulator here. We're going to screw this into our cal gas cylinder. Our multi-gas cylinder is what we're going to start with. Let's get this prepped. And we grab our 3 16th of an inch tubing. It's on the cylinder. Okay, now this is going to be all ready. So now let's put this unit into the actual span mode. So, right now we're looking at percent gas. So if you look, this here shows you what mode you're in, right? So this is CO, H2S. Uh, due date. Now it usually starts on LEL mode and that's where we're going to start as well. So in order to get ourselves into span mode what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold this power button here. Now you see the monitor goes to 50% and now span. So this is what gas it's looking for right now. Okay so I'm going to put this on here. It's our 50% LEL gas. we're going to let this go for a minute. Okay, so we've got our gas on here, and we're in span mode for the LEL sensor right now. So these buttons up and down will take what it expects up and down. So if you have a different Cal gas blend, you can use that here. You can say navigate it down here a little bit if you want to. You can see how it goes down like that. But let's go through and now, and you can use these ones too. They do the same thing when you're in span mode. So just, just FYI. So let's go through and let's tell it, okay, this is a good deal. We're, what we're going to do is we're going to do exit span with cal. So we're going to press and hold the switch four. Good deal. Okay, now we're going to move to the next one. Now it's looking for volume gas. Don't want to do volume gas, so what we're going to do is go to the next one. Okay, and here's our oxygen. So we want this at 18. It's kind of bouncing around a bit. I think the sensor needs a replacement here. Uh, this is usually a good sign that you need a replacement. I'm going to try and bring it up just a little bit. Come on now. Okay. Oh, 
There we go. Let's put it into uh, span mode for this. So, I'm going to press here. Now it's in span mode, looking for 18. Now if you adjust this, here's what happens. See how he does it? Does it by 0.1. We're going to say, okay, this is good. Let's go ahead, exit span with Cal. Press and hold. Good deal. So now it's saying our, our O2 sample, 18.0. It's a lot closer. 17.9. Eh, 17.9 is close enough. So this, this is fine right here. So let's move to our next one. We go next range. Press this button once. This is going to bring us to CO. So you can see that's what it's getting now. What we're going to do is enter span mode because we want to bring this down a little. Looking for 100. That's what we've got. Good deal. We're going to number four, exit span with Cal. There we are. So it's bouncing right around the 1% range. That's okay. That's accurate enough for us. Okay, so now we're going to press one time. We're going to go to H2S. Okay, so now it's seeing 28, so we're going to go into span mode. Press and hold. Now, since it's 25, that's what we want. We're going to save this cal. We're going to exit span with cal. Good deal, 25. Okay, now, next mode. Brings us to the date. Remember, we had to ignore that one just because of this unit. Now we're back to the beginning. Now, this is an important step to do now. We need to save cal. Oh, let me get that out of the way. We need to save cal data. So press and hold this button here. And now it has saved the cal data. So that's good. Now we're going to move to the next mo next monitor. We're going to pop this off here. Not next monitor. Jeez. We're going to move to the next cylinder. Perfect. Off to the side. And now we're going to bring in the methane, UHP methane, 99.97. Screw it in. Perfect. Okay, now it's in LEL mode right now. So what we want to do is we want to get one button more. Now it's got the V for volume, volume gas. Perfect. That's what we need. Now we're going to go ahead and Enter span mode, press and hold the button here. Now it's looking for a 100 gas. Put this on here. Okay. And we're going to give it just a little bit of time. We want to get it used to that gas. This sensor is a little different than the LEL sensor. It's called a TCD, thermal conductivity detector. Uh, so it reacts a little bit quicker, so we don't have to wait as long. So, uh, it should be about good there. So what we're going to do, exit span with Cal. Now it's held. Showing here, 99 and 100 for our reading. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and we're going to save this Cal data again. Press and hold. Good deal. So, now, let's go ahead, let's get out of cal mode now. So, it's taking us back to this LEL point. The LEL sensor, once it has pure on there, it's, it needs oxygen to react, so this is no good. We can pop our gas off. And there it goes. So, as it brings in oxygen, first it shoots up, and now it shoots down as it clears the LEL gas. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get out of this mode now. We're going to double press the number one. Ready? So now it takes us back here. So now we're out of that range. If we want to go and look through the different gases, we can use this. And you can see it'll take us through all of them. LEL is still clearing out. Oxygen is 21%. I mean, it's close enough. 20.9 is 21. CO, H2S, and LEL still clearing. Okay, so that is going through and doing the calibrations for this unit. Uh, if we were going to do a bump test, you have to use bo both cylinders here. And what I'm going to do 
just for speed here, I'm going to put another demand flow on this other multi gas cylinder, and we'll just switch the tubing. So let's do multi gas first, and then we're going to do the volume methane. I like doing it this route because when you do a test using the volume methane, if you do that first, then your LAL sensor has to spend all that time clearing out. This does it a lot quicker. So all you do, hit it normal reading mode. Once you start it up, take your gas on it. Okay, it's gonna go into alarm. You can hear the alarm. This one doesn't have a vibrating alarm. You can see it blinking here. And we wanna see what ranges our sensors get to. And you can do that by going through the different ranges using this button. Okay, so we got oxygen here. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Now we cycle through. When you cycle through, pressing it once doesn't do anything, but you see if you double click, double clicking will send you through. So, 2,5, hydrogen sulfide, that's what's on our cylinder here. Double tap. 50% LAL, that's what we have here. 49, close enough, good deal. Okay, so now we cleared the alarm, so now we can't circle through that way. Uh, so we're gonna go back to this button. Now, once you've cleared the alarm, so there's, there's a little function here that uh, you have to get used to. When it's in alarm like this, you have to go through here to clear those alarms for a second. Then you can go back and use this one. Again, it's a little complicated as a technician, but you get used to it. So, let's go through 18.1, great. 99 out of 100, great. 25 H2S, 49 LL methane, great deal. And 18.1. So this one's good to go. We're going to pop this off, clear our alarm by double tapping, and we're going to get this one out of here. Now we're going to grab our methane. You see how that shut up to 22 on oxygen? That's just, just it getting used to stabilizing. That's the software and they're playing with the, the numbers from the response curve it gets. So sometimes it'll shoot up and then it'll come back down and stabilize like that. So, let's attach our methane. Should send it into alarm. It's going to send oxygen way down. You see the oxygen goes down. We'll clear our alarm. You can see LEL showing an error because this is where above the limit we're in a flammable condition with pure methane. And now let's go cycle through. Four, zero. And here's our percent gas. So the LEL changes to percent gas. This shows us percent volume now at this point. Go through, it'll show the others. But you're done. You've got that 100% percent gas. You can top that off now. Okay, and that's a bump test. I'm going to disconnect this cylinder. All right, and now everything else is returned down to zero. Well, LEL is going to take a minute. 21, 1, H2S, 0. And you can watch the LEL come down. It's going to end up down at zero. Uh, this is a bit of a complicated one. Uh, I know I had to make a few edits on this, so if you have any questions, or any, if there's anything that's unclear, or maybe that a piece of tubing was covering the menu at the time, uh, feel free to leave a comment, uh, sh shoot us an email. Uh, email is support at idealcalibrations.com, and our phone number here is 734-956-0539. Uh, you can find our website, idealcalibrations.com, and make sure you subscribe and like the video if it helps you out. We appreciate it very much. Thank you much. You guys all stay safe out there.